I was always fascinated by plane behaviors inside video games. Ever since I played my first plane inside of GTA, I realized how complex planes actually are. Then fast forward a few years later, I started and making video games on my own. First, I started making driving based video games. As I'm sure some of you might even remember my first videos on driving simulations inside of Unity. And now that about three or four years have passed, I've learned a thing or two about Unity and game design. I set about and making my own plane based video game. To make this project, I would need a couple of things. As the very first thing that I said to myself I needed was an actual plane. It didn't have to be a perfect plane, but a simple plane that would do the job just fine. So I borrowed a simple plane mesh from Google and brought it into my scene. And here is how it looked like. So after that, I downloaded some really high textures from the internet. I borrowed that as well. And from there, it was too simple. I would just create a standard material, drop the textures and then drop the material inside a sphere, which you can create in Unity. The problem with that is that the UV mapping is not set right. So to fix that, what I did is I fired up Cinema 4D and what I did is actually very simple. I just created a sphere, gave it a lot of polygons and created a material with the same textures. After I did that, I exported that FBX file and then imported back into Unity. So that fixed the UV mapping and it also fixed the polygon count. So now that I got a planet that I can fly around with my plane, what I needed was a way of making my plane actually fly. So what I did is I went ahead and imported the standard assets aircraft physics. And right after I imported the assets, I ran into some issues having to do with the cross input platform, which I only now realize that it is actually needed for the standard assets package. So I decided to use a standard asset aircraft controller for my entire project. And after I did some tweaking inside the source code, of the controller, here is how the game plays. So, so far what I had created was a plane controller that works great in land, but what I needed was a plane that would work great in space. Now the problem is that the gravity works different in land than in space. For example, in this case, I want the player to be attracted to the planet rather than the ground, which is non-existent in here, obviously. So I had to come up with a plan to create a attraction force that would attract the player towards the planet. I discovered to do that was actually not hard at all. All I had to do was go into the rigid body, disable the use gravity, and then just add some force right down where the player is actually facing. So here is the very simple code of how you can do that. After having applied some force into the rigid body, what I did was change the plane model with the new simpler model. And so far, this is how the game looks like. I was happy with how the game played, but I was not happy with how the game looked. So I wanted to do something about it. I wanted to change the planet and make it look just a little bit better. So what I did is I just rose the land from the sea and from there, it was actually quite simple what I was going to do. I was just going to replace the land and then as for the sea, I would just use a different sphere to cover the already existing sphere with a new water material. As the last visual detail that I added into this project was the clouds, which I just downloaded from the asset store. Having created separate spheres for the land and the sea, the new gameplay is actually very decent. So next what I did is create a new script that just had one job and that job would be to rotate the propeller which is at the front of the plane into a given value. The code of that is actually just one line. We're just using a transform rotate function and we're giving it a value. I was quite happy with the result that I got into this project and as always you can download this project down in the video description below and also you can use this project in your own games or maybe you want to publish it into the Play Store that would be more than fine for me. 
Creating this project took me around a week and I'm actually very happy with the result that I got. Before I close this video, I just want to thank each and every one of you who has supported me from the beginning of my YouTube channel. I'm really, really grateful for you. So thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll see you in the next videos.